የነምሬ ጦር የና በበጦር የመስራክ ሻዋ ፋኖ ሲገባ የነምሬ ሻዋ ፋኖ ሲገባ ከተማው አንዲት ኬል እንኳን የለውም ነበር ያንን ከተማው ስገብተን አንድ ሆቴል ማን ነው ስሙ ሉሲ ሆቴል ቢባል ገስ ንገባ ጀነራሎቹ ይሄ የክልሉ አስተዳደር ምናምን ዛ ተሰብስቦ ኬላ ያቆሙት እነምሬ ናቸው ከጎንደር የዱ ፋኖች ከኛ ጋር ብረን የዱ ፋኖች አቸው ኬላ ያዝኖኛ ነበር መንግስት አላደረገው ፋኖ ከመንግስት ጋር መንግስት ያልሰራውን ሁሉ ሲሰራ የነበረ ኃይል ነው ይሄን እንድታቆ ፈልጋለሁ ይሄን ለልጆቻችሁ እንድትነግሯቸው ፈልጋለሁ ሰ ሼም ዳት आवर ኪድስ አር ናት ሂር ቱዴ ዩ ኒድ ቱ ቴል ዩር ኪድስ አባውት ዋትስ ሃፕኒንግ ቱ आवर ፒፕል እና አናዘር ቲንግ አይ ዋንት ቱ ሴይ ሂር ኢዝ ኢት ኢዝ ናት አባውት አማራ ዋት ኢዝ ሃፕኒንግ ኢዝ ኢት ጀስት ሃፕን ዳት አማራ ኢዝ ኦን ዘ ዌይ ፎር ዘም ፕሪቬንቲንግ ዘም ፍሮም ዱይንግ ዋት ዴይ ዋንት dismantling ethiopia having the tplf have an exit way towards the sudan having a maid servant for the united states that is being made impossible because of the amara because amara is there right there amara as one of the fundamental foundational uh, uh, architects of ethiopia refuses to accept that Amara is on the way that's why if it was Walaita that was there it would be genocide against Walaita if it was Gambella it would be genocide against Gambella but it just happened that it's Amara that's on the way that's Amara that's saying no it's Amara that's saying we are one we are Ethiopian we're going to stay Ethiopian yes. that's why Amara is a victim yes. it's not because of your skin color we are all black yes. we need to know that if you are one of the 80 ethnic groups in Ethiopia what is happening to the amara is like when a virus or a parasite tries to attack an organism such as human such as a human being it first has to penetrate the barrier which is the skin it cannot go to the heart until such time that it has entered the skin what is covering what ethiopia all over ethiopia amara is all over ethiopia and the psychosocial makeup sinel bono bumulu ethiopia is alone it has to be compromised that cover that <laughs> protection has to be compromised that is what's being done right now yes, in order to compromise ethiopia in order to destroy ethiopia you have to pay the threat that shield that's what's happening and then once that has happened it would be too late for the organs for the liver for the heart for the kidney to stay operational so uradio gammo benishangulu kambata hariya janjero kullo konta over 80 ethnic groups you are going to be cannibalized yes, there is a cannibal in ethiopia yes sir that's being supported by these western powers yes. we have to prevent we have to stop together if you let the skin defend itself and not and refuse to send essential forces resources and be protect the skin then tomorrow there's going to be a mole on your body there's going to be a sore there's going to be an infection that's going to own the entire organism and you'll not survive so if you cower today if you don't stand with the amara when the amara is being murdered all over ethiopia then you're going to be without any protector you won't be able to survive a day every single ethnic group the sidama Tomorrow you're going to be cannibalized. The Walaitai, the Gambella, the Kullo, the Kunta, everybody will be cannibalized. In order to stop this monster, we have to come together. Yes. Yes. Very, very important. It's not a matter of yeah, yeah, Yemenor, ሰላሳ ሰከንድ ላይ ነኝ ያለነው የዚህ ኤርጀንሲ ያልገባው ሰው ካለ 
እየተደረገ ያለው ኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ እየተደረገ ያለው አማራ ክልል እየተደረገ ያለው clearly unless somebody is i'm sorry to use this word slow it is very clear what's happening the military the uh, abi hamad uh, administration has told the regional administrators one of them being the Uh, whom I know personally, there was uh, this video, audio that was leaked. He was saying, the generals are calling me and threatening me, telling me that we have to leave in an area like Achuhutu. I don't know. Ryan. Then what's going to happen is they're going to the military is going to take over. After the military takes over, it's going to hand those areas back to the TPLF. That is the agreement. That's what Mike Hammer is doing right now. That's his job. That's his job. He's not an honest broker. The United States is not an honest broker. It's an dishonest, deceptive broker. That is what's happening to our country. Abiy Ahmed has succumbed to the pressure and he is doing what he's told to do. That's what's happening. And once that happens, the TPLF will take over. They will have an exit way to via Sudan. And like Debrez Yohan said, I have feel more kinship with the Sudanese than with Ethiopians. Yes, we won't have an Ethiopia to speak of. And then the rest of Ethiopia will be cannibalized by this monster. But I'll tell you one thing, those who think this is an Amara issue, mark my word, worst case scenario, if everything doesn't work out, the Amara would still survive, will still survive. The ones that are not going to survive are the ones that are going to be eaten for a snack once by one okay yeah go by yeah let me finish my idea that's what's going to happen that is the point ahun yallo zi yallo no le etiopia hulunano amara is on the way that is why amara is being massacred day in and day out so let's come together let's do what we can here in the united states we are here what we can do is not shoot guns, but we can use our resources in order to influence the government. Okay? Uh, Sherman, this congressman here in California, he was bought. $50,000 and he's fighting for the TPLF like a slave, like they own him for $50,000. We have to find people that will fight on our behalf. In order to do that, we have to lobby. If we do not lobby, okay, we are lost. So, in, even these uh, generals that are leading this uh, massacre against uh, the Amara people, they would be held accountable at the ICC we will document what's happening. We will make sure that they answer for the crime they are committing, they are committing against our people. In order to do that, we have to organize, we have to lobby, we have to put our resources together. Demonstrations alone will not do anything. Nobody's gonna cover this demonstration today. You will not see it anywhere.
But if we have one or two Congress people, then we would make an impact. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Hermela. As you know, the war in Amara started by TPLF over 30 years ago and has intensified since Abi Ahmed took, up, took power. We have been witnessing atrocities being committed against Amara, identified as Neptenya by government forces. Working with the Oromo extremist groups in the so-called Oromia region such as Walaka, Arsi, Shashamane, and extended to Shwa, Gojam, Gondar, Wallo, and Adisawa. The Ethiopian government has deployed heavy artillery in densely populated towns, resulting in the bombardment of cities that has tragically caused an alarming number of civilian casualties within the Amara region. Disturbingly, hundreds of innocent lives have been lost in major, major urban areas, including Gondar, Dabrabrahan, Lalibela, and Bahardar. Adding to the distress, government forces have em employed the intimidating display of heavy weaponry while traversing city streets. It is crucial to highlight that both established, customary international law and humanitarian principles explicitly prohibit such aggressive actions and the utilization of civilization infra infrastructure for warfare. In a recent personal encounter, a close family relative of mine was en route from Addis Ababa to Dabramarco.